On April 20, 2010, an explosion on an oil rig in the Gulf of Mexico created a disaster that seems to have no end in sight. Millions of gallons of oil have been spewing into the Gulf, having a profound effect on the economy. The seafood industry in the area has been hit particularly hard, and the effects of this are now spreading out of the region, even reaching as far as Philadelphia. Certain types of seafood unique to the Gulf are in short supply. Seafood suppliers are turning to other sources, but the entire industry has felt the effects. It's killing seafood producers. Everything that's not being produced in the Gulf Coast has a negative impact everywhere in the country. The Gulf is widely known for grouper, snapper, tuna, uh, all the way into Louisiana to crawdaddies. Uh, none of that is available right now. Retailers have already seen seafood prices increasing. Um, they probably had to increase their prices. Uh, seemed like prices have been increasing all over. I buy 50% of my crabs, 50 to 55% of the crabs come out of Louisiana, out of the Gulf. Yeah, the oysters a lot, by like 50 cents per oyster. What used to be 3 and $4 is now 6 and $7, due to the fact that there just isn't anything out of the Gulf. Some businesses are forced to turn to alternative locations for imports. Suppliers are taking advantage of the situation by raising prices, and retailers are feeling the effects. Right now, we're not getting anything. So the crabs that we're getting out of the East Coast, from, from Maryland, New Jersey, Virginia, North Carolina, the price is up 30 to 40 percent, and availability is very, very hard right now, especially coming up to this Fourth of July weekend. Companies and customers face increasing prices and decreasing availability. Although the oil spill seems far away, Philadelphia is already feeling the repercussions of the crisis. This is Amulya Shankar, WHYY Young Journalists.